will have it first. The belt kickoff is underway. And Shai Smith's going to bring it out from three yards deep. Good decision. He gets walloped at about the 27 yard line. In the secondary. I also lost Dominique Ross and Jonathan Smith, both to suspension at linebacker as well. That means the quarterback, Chaz Surratt, plays the entire game at Mike Linebacker. Our first opportunity of Carolina in Charlotte. Still plenty of time before halftime for the Gamecocks to get another chance to score points. And this is either LT or Jim Brown. I think those are the two best players in the history of the sport. Those are the two most influential players in the history of the sport in terms of they just changed the way that teams had to coach against them. Shai Smith, heck of a return to the sideline. Great field position to start this drive for South Carolina after giving up the field goal. Does an outstanding job of making the first guy miss. And then we talked about this. These teams don't practice special teams to the ground at all in training camp. Al gets to the sideline, and it's like six guys jump over the wall and start working on it. Short kickoff to Shai Smith. Out to about the 25 yards. Wells Fargo. How does South Carolina respond? Now that they've lost the lead, they'll start at their own 25. Well, there's inexperience all over the field at key positions for Mac Brown. One of them is punter, Ben Kiernan, the true freshman from Ireland, kicks it away to Brian Edwards, and Edwards gets a block. Great field position for South Carolina as Edwards pulls off a return to the north kicker. Sends it deep, Brian Edwards on the run inside his own 20. Breaks a tackle. Gets popped down at about the 23. Goes south. It's a great opportunity for you. Ben Kiernan. Edwards scoops it up. He's got a return chance. Ryan Edwards. Inside the 40-yard line of North Carolina. A 37-yard. For his career, 66%. One for one this year. And South Carolina strikes first. And Feaster had 15 career touchdowns. We're in Clemson Orange. Now he's got one to start off the second quarter. And White just tugs it left. It's out for Parker White. He's got it. It's a 10-point lead for some. Empty the backfield. It becomes a numbers game. You can't match up. An 11-point time. We, we are exactly where we want to be. Newsom has to go all the way back to his own seven-yard line. Now turns the corner and gets out of bounds shy of the 25. That's got to be and a flag. flag. Yeah. After the play, personal foul. Late hit out of bounds, kicking team, number 13, 15-yard penalty from the end of the run, first down. Hard return, and then a late hit out of bounds. It, it's just, it looks intentful, right? Like, Roderick lowers his shoulder. It looks like you're trying to do something there. Short punt. Out of bounds, a shank. Joseph Charlton has his punt out of bounds officially at the 37-yard line, a 17-yard punt. Charlton kicks it away. Newsom, a fair catch at his own five-yard line. Air catch from Daz Newsom. Back to his own 25 yard line. Like it runs Daz Newsom out deep to receive the punt. He's going to let it drop. And the decision pays off perfectly for Will Muschamp. Charles. And the new kicker is Noah Ruggles. And he's got it. The sophomore out of the hold of Cooper Graham. Blocked. 
this will roll down to the 11-yard line. And be touched down there by North Carolina. So South Carolina will take over as they get up. 24 yards out for Noah Ruggles. And he's got it. He's now to the punt of the freshman Ben Kiernan from Dublin. Came to the U.S. at age 15 as a rugby player. Decided to give football a try. Now he's punting for North Carolina. And this one floats out of bounds. He didn't hit that one as well as he and now you wonder what kind of field position the Gamecocks will get. A rugby-style kick from the rugby player, Ben Kiernan. And a fair catch called by Brian Edwards. Carolina's offense. Noah Ruggles knocks. Backfield forced the communication, and it wasn't good enough. And a touchback on the kickoff as we answer our Aflac 